So there's been a series of interesting events. Uh, okay, so for one, now there's going to be... Okay, so America is trying to tell Saudi Arabia, please don't participate with the BRICS oil trade in local currencies. So that's one of the things I'm like... Okay, so, you know, I mean, you were expecting something like this, but um, I wasn't expecting, not, not exactly this heavy-handed, you know, like, 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 do this, you know. But then there's uh, Russia and other OPEC plus, BRICS plus uh, nations, they're going to drop the amount they're outputting and uh and change their uh pricing structure uh, and so their output's going to drop forcing uh oil up mostly uh, and energy costs up mostly during the winter and so then beyond that the next weird piece of news was apparently there's a peace accord going on between israel and saudi arabia and netanyahu says he's willing to just quit everything forever, step out of public life, if they just get this peace accord. Which, that's absolutely fascinating. I, I'm like really rolling my mind around about this because one of the key things about this is that I started to really think through. If, if you take various pieces of information, some of which is, you know, sort of in the realm of of, of rumor slash news, but then there's an, other parts of this that it's like, well, no, this is a part of real information that was important that, oh, this is so adorable. Uh, the, the real information that was important that nobody was really paying much attention to in the long run, and now everybody's paying attention to. And so, so you know, how a decade ago or more, Everybody on the right was already talking about the demographic decline and that nobody was discussing the actual decline of humans throughout the electrified world. And that there's all these parts of the world, that, especially the OMA, that, that they're having, no, they're, they're reproducing uh, very quickly. And then on top of it, there was the problem of, say, the rumor of jihadism linked to... Um, poverty rather than no 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 this is all even the israelis have found jihadism is mostly coming from people who have the time to study religion and and can and like people who are working you know hand to mouth they they don't have time for that like they really 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 they don't have time for that um <laughs> this is this is why with people doing the nine to five from like the starting in the 30s and then culminating, you know, and like kind of epitomized in like the idea of the 50s through the 60s, middle class living. This is why you saw people leaving religion because honestly they simply didn't have the time to do the kind of daily ritualistic stuff that is usually at really kind of the heart. Like that's the culture of, say, there's all these kind of things every day. Catholics and Orthodox do that you know even Buddhists do on a daily basis but it requires the extra time to put in so 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 it's not the middle the, when the so the middle class will re-embrace religion as this kind of thing that they really 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 have to study to be their kind of people and this and that and that's how they would get them that's how they would get these guys to do these horrible things so with the, with, say, the electrified West, what you end up having is what then people who were internet-savvy millennials and Gen Xers from other parts of the world, they had, they had interacted with us. And they were like, no, no, no. Something has changed in America. It's, and they couldn't quite explain it. But eventually this becomes something that, see, on the internet... They're the people who are these based foreigners that see our weird behavior as, as weird as it is. And when our weirdos are being weird, they're like, look at weirdo, you know. And so now, so, and that, that's like, every, think of all the BRICS nations. When they see us online, when they see Tumblristas online, 
They're like, look at Tumblrista. They, they don't have a problem with this idea, like mocking them because they're dumb. That's, and so, uh, and they know that America's chock full of people like this. So they, there's this thing of that bricks make sense if you are an internet savvy, like if your culture believes in having relationships across generations of mentoring somebody, but there's stuff only the young are going to know about the young. And so at some point, the old are going to be listening and are going to be like, what? They do what? And said, no, really, they ate Tide Pods. You know, no, no, no joke. No, really, no, seriously, Tide Pods. Yes, from laundry. And nobody would usually believe something like that until they saw it. And so the BRICS nations are, are really, they're in a situation where they're like, wait, wait, wait. We're kind of ruled over by these people whose kids will eat Tide Pods like uh, right there online like so you could see them g gack and have to go to the hospital like or whatever you know happens and so it was really something that I was thinking about like yeah that would why would the world invest in us we eat Tide Pods we 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 don't know what we what we are be, because you never know what that is between your legs like we are <laughs> like <laughs> The, the BRICS are starting, you know, a lot of these countries are the kind of people that they just simply are, are a more frank and honest kind of people than we are now. And, uh, and so it's, and then on top of it, they're like, you know, there's only so long that, that really, you know, the states can keep up the, uh, the just the whole attrition of warfare, really. And that the Oma is then like, wait, and also these guys keep trying to get um, blasphemous, uh, as in Turkey, try to get blasphemous types on religious councils, um, and that was them trying to get Kurdish uh, Sufis um, onto religious councils, and then, you know, the rainbow flag on things, and all, all the stuff that they were like, no, this is when the enemy is weak. And they treat us as an enemy when, and, you know, they shake our hands and then treat us as an enemy. And uh, that's, yeah. So I'm just starting, and they're looking at us, and they're like, and they're, they have a diminishing male population to carry on their warfare and their economy. And they'll never be able to deal with the immigration. Because, of course... The Russians, being the former Soviet Union, having almost 20 ethnicities within the Soviet Union, found this out. So this will be kind of fascinating to see. I, I'm, uh, but I'm wondering what the news is going to be saying about what Netanyahu said. I mean, just, I'll step down if we just make peace. That's, uh, I mean, I just, wow. I mean, wow. What a good one. What a way to pull it off. I dig it. All right, later.